Check out my awesome page. Brent Spiner's Jesus Transcriptions, Jesus Speaks. I'm, do it. I, I'm doing a free audio book of, um, of my... It's basically a condensed version of Bible for Tribulation Saints. And you can... Um, I actually have some background music playing. You can see it right here. See? And what you can do is you can... Um, to adjust the volume of the background music or turn off the background music, you click right there. And then it takes you right here. And the way you adjust the volume is right there. See? So you can go here and lower it just like that. And then you can play one of the videos. Like this is one. Satan, 2:15:2012 to 2:22:2012. Background. Within 24 Isn't this hours, cool? Christ 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 I created this for my followers. Okay, let's turn off this video. But I'm still stumped over this. I don't get it. Maybe I'll get it more later. I don't get why I'm pretty hot. The only thing I can think of is I must be a very unusual lover. I think the way I make love to these men is just like out of this world. That must be it. Is that it, Brent? Terrence's Skype gets disconnected. Oh, no. I know a lot of the men adore me. They think I'm the most beautiful woman in the world, but I don't think I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. I think what they like about me is my spirit, more than my looks. I have an unusual spirit. Well, you're pretty hot too there, Gail, Tarant says. Your spirit makes all the difference. Yeah, I'm glad you think that. Yes, you're pretty hot, Jesus says. Oh, I am? Goodness, <laughs> Gail laughs. You know, Lord, you think that I'm aware of this, but I'm still stumped over this. I don't get it. Maybe I'll get it more later. I don't get why I'm pretty hot. The only thing I can think of is I must be a very unusual lover. I think the way I make love to these men is just like out of this world. That must be it. Is that it, Brent? Terrance's Skype gets disconnected. Oh, no. What happened? Terrance calls Gail on Skype. Sorry, I got the truth. Yeah, Lord, I still don't get why all these men like me. I mean, I know they do, but, well, I sort of get it. I think I'm an exceptional lover. I think that's what it is. I think maybe it's my King David genes. Brent made some music about how I make him ascend to the heavens or something like that. That must be it. I think I've got a very unusual spirit. Yes, that has to be it, Tarrant says. Yeah, I've got a very unusual spirit. It's probably the King David genes. The Jesuits try to create beautiful women to compete with you, not understanding what true beauty is. Is that God speaking? Is that you, Jesus, Terrance asks. Gail reads her screen, because Jesus won't use Skype directly, but only allows Brent to transcribe for him. Or is that Brent? I think that is Jesus. I think that's Jesus. It sounds like him. Yes, though Brent would agree with me. Yeah, I've noticed that. A lot of their women are pretty good looking physically, but inwardly they're like scorpions, you know? He was never attracted to Lori McBride. Oh, I knew that, Lord. Gail pauses. I know, I know. She is totally lacking in inner beauty. She has zero in that area. Terrance cries. <laughs> I'm just remembering something that happened. Really? Gail is flabbergasted. Oh, my goodness. I'm still broken up about it. Davy Jones, he died. Davy Jones? Was that the monkey's guy? Yes, he was my friend. Oh, boy, you have a lot of friends that are famous. Yes. Yeah, I know he was never attracted to Lori McBride. Gail meant that Brett was never attracted to Lori McBride. She changes her tone. I think I'm just going to listen to you, Lord. Women like Lori are too prideful. Oh, you're right, Lord. Women like Lori are too prideful. She's very proud. She kept making fun of my yeasty vagina. Lori did this during the 2011 Quebec trial. Man! About a couple weeks ago, a pastor wrote me on Twitter and said that, that I have not been speaking to Jesus. And this is... Because I had, well, I was so excited about publishing Bible for Tribulation Saints because I was able to give to the world the exact words that Jesus has spoken to me from 2012 to now. 
And I just, I just didn't feel it was right for me to keep this to myself because a lot of what Jesus told me, I realized would be of benefit to my followers or those who are listening to me. So what got this thing started was Judge Terrence Jenkins contacted me on Skype and, you know, my men wanted to have a copy of everything that Jesus said to me. And they asked me to just send them a raw copy. And while I was doing that, I thought, you know what? This would be a really important book. So I decided to put it all together into a book. And I, I discovered that Jesus has said so much to me for the past five years that, or six years, it's been like six years now, that I felt like um, I couldn't believe that it's it's a book the size of the Bible. But this pastor was accusing me of being like demon possessed, and I thought that's so sad. He I he was like trying to get me to shut up. He's saying you're doing harm to the cause of Christ by telling people that Jesus has been speaking to you. And I was just thinking, but he has. He has been speaking to me. He reminds me of the Pharisees and Sadducees. He's like a modern day Pharisee and Sadducee. And I thought, this is so sad that Jesus has spoken to me and I'm sharing with the world what he said. And yet there are some people out there who are trying to convince people that it wasn't Jesus who has spoken to me. You say, how do you know he's spoken to you? Well, I've just read the Bible so much. I've read the King James Bible from cover to cover hundreds of times. And I know that he's spoken to me because I tested him, actually. I had some doubts at the beginning. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't an imposter. So I tested him by throwing out Bible questions to him that were really deep and that he could only answer if he was Jesus. And boy, he he came through, man. I asked him some pretty deep Bible questions and he came through with answers and it wouldn't matter what I hit him with, I never stumped him. He, nothing, and the answers that came back indicated somebody who had to be none other than Jesus himself. Um, even though I'm not a theology, I don't have like a doctorate in theology. I've read the Bible from cover to cover hundreds of times, and that's almost like the equivalent of it. The only thing is I haven't studied the original languages. That's where I have a deficit. But I do now have the parallel Bible, and Jesus has encouraged me to go to lexicons if I need to get like, um, if I really need to understand a passage and I'm confused. But I find using my parallel Bible by comparing the King James with the New American Standard, the NIV, and um, the uh, New Living Translation, that I can pretty much decipher what I think Jesus is trying to tell me in a passage. I love my parallel Bible. My men gave that to me as a Christmas present for 2012. So the thing is, I thought, I thought this pastor is the way I used to be as a King James Bible only believer. And he's not open to the truth of what Jesus is really like. And I thought, what can I do so that people like him will be more open to the truth? Because he's hurting himself and his congregation and the people who follow him by not accepting the fact that Jesus has spoken to me. Because what Jesus has told me is really important. It's so important that if you don't listen to him, if you don't know what he said, you will probably be duped by the Antichrist. So I thought, what can I do? So I thought, you know what? I noticed that one way, one method that Jesus has been able to use to educate me about some of my false beliefs or some misinterpretations of Bible is by listening to uh, really good Bible teachers online, listening to videos. And I thought, you know what? People are really busy and they don't really have time to read my long book, Bible for Tribulation Saints. And if they're already prejudiced against me because of a background they come from, like maybe they're a King James Bible only believer, they're not even going to be open. So I thought, let me go ahead and 
just pull out the sections of Bible for Tribulation Saints where Jesus actually spoke and put those into an audiobook. And I said, I'm going to make this a free audiobook. And I know how to do that because I have, I've already read, done some voice acting or audio. I don't really call it voice acting because I'm actually reading what Jesus said. But I'm like, it's kind of like when you watch a Bible movie, you know, I'm kind of, I'm trying to dramatize. See, the thing is, I've never heard Jesus speak. I've never heard his voice. I've never seen him. He refuses to make an appearance to me because Satan always tries to impersonate him to me. But I know, um, I know it's him because I know what Jesus is like from reading the Bible and from my own experience as being a Christian since 1971. Jesus and I have been close most of those years. And I've, he's answered prayer for me miraculously sometimes. So I'm very in tune to his spirit and what he's like. For, as a result of my extensive Bible readings and walking in the spirit these year, many years as a believer. So I have no doubt that Jesus has been speaking to me. Um, I hit him with some really deep theological questions that he couldn't have answered if he wasn't Jesus. And it convinced me. So I thought, what can I do? I said, so I said, you know what? People will not read a big fat book if they're already prejudiced against the version of Jesus that I present, but which is the way he really is. What really turned this guy off is when I said that Jesus was not against gays. He said, oh, I have at that. He blocked me on Twitter after that. And I thought that is so sad. I thought, I thought, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he has a wicked heart that he's not, and that's why he's closed. Maybe he's got a problem with pride, which can be a problem with a lot of ministers. And I thought, he's just like a modern day Pharisee and Sadducee. I thought, this is so sad. Is there some way I can reach somebody like him? So I'm going to try. So I made an audio book and I'm actually reading what Jesus wrote to me through Brent Spiner, because Brent Spiner transcribes for Jesus when Jesus want to talk, wants to talk to me. And I'm actually reading it in the way that I imagined that Jesus would have said that to me. And I am very in tune to him. I am a woman after God's own heart. I had the King David genetic profile. So I think the way I read him is probably very close to how he actually said those things to Brent Spiner when he asked Brent Spiner to transcribe his words for me as he was speaking to me through Brent Spiner. So what I did, what I'm doing right now is it's going to be like a year and a half long project. It's a lot, a lot of work doing it for free. Kind of like Jesus calls me his favorite missionary and I'm doing this to try to reach people with Jesus's words. His words are powerful and, um, I really want you to listen to what Jesus said, pastors, or even if you're not a Christian or even an atheist, Jesus rose again from the dead. He's alive. He appeared to us in his resurrection body. That's what, that, that's what my men told me. And my men were have been dealing with him. He has showed up at our Church of Gale. And he even has his own room at Church of Gale, the Church of Gale spaceship. And he has spoken to us. He's talked about the Antichrist, revealed who he is. It was Zach Knight now, it was either Angelina Ballerina or Lori McBride. Now when I ask him who the Antichrist is, he dodges the subject. But we know it's going to be related to Lori McBride or Angelina Ballerina. Zach, Zach Knight is now ex-Antichrist. But you have to read Bible for Tribulation Saints to understand the real news. It all revolves around me and my men because we're very important because Jesus has been meeting with us and he's preparing the world for the great tribulation. And Jesus said that I'm going through what the tribulation saints will be going through. So I encourage any of you who want to know the truth about what's really happening. And if you want to be ready to the, if you want to make sure you're not Satan's victim, you need to hear what Jesus said. Have an open mind. Don't be like this preacher. Don't close your heart and your mind to the truth. Don't be a Pharisee and Sadducee. And um, 
keep your keep your heart and mind open. 